The Lightyear One is a very efficient car and one of the factors that's influencing that is the drag of the car, so how much resistance it has to the wind. So if we reduce that resistance to the wind as much as possible, we can drive further with the same amount of energy. So it's important that we test here how well it performs with different wind speeds. So we test the airflow over the car, how much drag does it produce, how much lift does it produce, and what effect that has on uh, the range eventually of the car. Besides the aerodynamic performance, we also validate the behavior of the car in different uh, settings that you can find on road, high turbulence levels, low turbulence levels, side wind. With the validation of the acoustics, we make sure that when people drive our car, that they have a nice and quiet environment while sitting in the car. So during the test, we first tested a baseline to validate our simulations and also to see how it performs in the baseline. And after that, we did around 20 to 25 uh, adjustments of the car, so different geometries, taping uh, some edges and to see how, what the effect is on the final performance of the car. The bottom of the car is quite a flat surface, so we have like kind of a profile of a, of a wing and that allows us to gain quite a lot of uh, aerodynamic performance out of it. We have a very shallow slope going to the rear and the flow can stay attached over that full length. And if you have a shorter car, we will have a steeper slope and that will uh, detach the flow and will create a lot of uh, drag. A longer car gives the vehicle a higher pressure recovery, or the rear of the car pushing the car actually forward. From the wheel it's a turning mechanism on the car and it produces a lot of drag. When we put these wheel covers on, the air is more guided around the car. Well, as soon as the car is put on the belt and this uh, location is just a very emotional moment because it's something that we were waiting for for so long. We got a drag coefficient that was even lower than we were hoping for and we were really excited with the amazing uh, achievement we, we got. So we are really proud to have achieved the lowest coefficient of drag of all the production cars uh, worldwide now. So we are quite, quite proud of uh, doing so now. <laughs>